Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStudio.com, and today we are going to do an exclusive comparison of two devices with the same model number. So here we have two devices with the same model number, the Zopo 980, Zopo 980. But the difference in between these two devices is that this one is running on MediaTek 6589 Turbo chipset, whereas this one is running on MediaTek 6589 chipset. Now, as far as the difference in between these two chipset is concerned. The difference lies in between the frequency of operation of the CPU and the GPU on both of these two chipsets. Again, when it comes to the overall hardware configuration, both of these two devices are similar. Both of them are Zopo 980. As you, as you can see, these are the two similar devices but running on two different chipsets. And now we are going to compare both of these two devices on the basis of the benchmark. Let me just open quadrant standard on both of these two and let's check out the system information. So as you can see, as far as the system information is concerned, the CPU on the media is clogged at 1.5 GHz, whereas on MediaTek 6589, it is clogged at 1.2 GHz. Now, as far as the higher frequency or the maximum frequency at which these processor can actually run and clogged at is different as you can see over here and over here. When it comes to the GPU, the GPU on both of these two devices is same that is PowerVR SGX 544MP. But when it comes to the processing capability or the frequency at which they operate, the maximum frequency of operation of the GPU on this device is going to be 286MHz whereas on this device it is going to be clocked at 357MHz. Now as far as the other hardware is concerned, both of these two chipsets are fairly the same. As far as the video recording capabilities, both of these chipsets support high definition video recording at 1080p as well as at 720p. Now some of the differences which you might notice on these two devices will be shown in the benchmark. So we will now run the benchmark utility on both of these devices. First we will start with the quadrant standard benchmark utility and let's A look over the benchmark scores now now if we take a look over the benchmark score the total score on this device uh, which is running mediatek 6589 is 3827 as you can see and this is how it ranks below asus transformer prime and over here the benchmark scores are actually good and better than this one the total score is 4663 as you can see and it is above htc 1x and asus transformer prime in terms of the ranking if we take a look over the de detail score over here, this is how the detail score look like. The CPU is 8896 on this one, whereas it is 11098 on this one, whereas the memory is 3356, over here it is 4177, input and output is 4662, whereas it is 5794, the 2D is 106 on this and you have 123 on this, uh, the 3D is 2116, whereas it is 2122 on this device now this is how the scores look like for the n22 benchmark utility but for both of these two devices as you can see on the turbo chipset device we have got a score of 1411 whereas on the 6589 chipset without turbo we have got 11950 which is a little bit lesser in terms of the score let's take a look over the detailed score and check out the cpu and the ram so the cpu score over here is 3409 Whereas it is 4167 over here on the turbo chipset device and if we take a look over the 3D and 2D operations over here as you can see there is a difference in terms of the scores everywhere it is not much of a difference but there is a difference in terms of the benchmark score now here we have the score for the Nina Mark benchmark utility which actually tests the graphic capability of the device especially uh, this utility is good for testing the gaming performance of the device we have got a score of 33.9 fps on the turbo chipset device whereas over here we have got a score of 23.8 fps which is fairly less and again this device is going to be better in terms of the overall gaming performance however you may not be noticed that difference but it will definitely give you less lag when it comes to gaming 
on this device with the turbo chipset as compared to the this device without the turbo chipset. Now here are the scores for the Vilamo benchmark fidelity as you can see on the device without the turbo chipset we have got a score of 481 total whereas with the device with turbo chipset we have got 514 as far as the scores are concerned and when we take a look over the ranking over here this is how the device ranks over here as you can see without the turbo chipset with the other devices and, and this is how it ranks with the turbo chipset as compared to other devices. Now here we have the last benchmark utility which is called Lintac for Android. It actually takes the overall performance of the CPU. So let's run the single thread operation over here and over here. And this is how the figures looks like for the single thread operations as you can see. You can compare both of these two on the basis of this information. And this is how the information looks like and the data figures looks like for the multi-thread operations as you can see. Now to conclude the overall comparison review in between these two devices which have the same model number and one of them is running on MediaTek 6589 turbo chipset, the other one is running on MediaTek 6589 chipset. We would like to say that there is a mini range in terms of the performance power in between these two models as of now. We also are going to compare these devices as far as gaming is concerned. So stay tuned for that video, we will be coming up with a gaming performance video in which we will play the same game on both of these two devices to show you the overall performance of the device when it comes to gaming is concerned. Now one thing which I would like to tell you is that the devices are the same, again they differ very minimal in terms of the performance of the CPU which you may not notice especially when you don't run heavy applications or graphic intensive games and when it comes to the GPU the GPU on both of these two devices is same again they are running at different frequency so if you especially run a graphic intensive game on both of these two phones you will face a little lesser lag on this particular device with the turbo chipset as compared to the device which does not have the turbo chipset that's all from us as far as the quick hands-on comparison of these two devices which do let us know if you have any specific questions for MediaTek 6589 turbo chipset we would love to help you you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is Abhishek signing off thank you